Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. Years ago, I wrote a book with Dr. Shinitsky and Dr. O'Connor called Take Control of Your Anxiety. And this is a book that the publisher asked us to write because they wanted a drug-free approach to treating anxiety. And in the book, I came up with a formula for anxiety that I think is really helpful. And that is all anxiety comes from the perception of threat to an investment of mine. In other words, investment plus perceived threat equals anxiety. Both of those conditions have to be true or there's no anxiety. And what is anxiety? It's just arousal of the nervous system. It's the stress response. It's preparing you you know, for a fight or flight kind of a condition. It's jacking up the nervous system to deal with, again, the perception of a threat. And I noticed that people need to understand this formula so they can intervene in their own minds. For instance, I taught a 75-year-old man this, this formula, and he goes around going, where's the threat? That's a threat. That's not a threat. And he brings himself down. By, by telling himself, this is not threatening. Getting rid of the catastrophic thoughts that, that had his nervous system aroused because the nervous system follows the mind and the belief that this is a threat triggers anxiety. I was talking to a woman who was greatly anxious because she was called to do jury duty. And in her mind, this was going to be a catastrophe because she had to leave work and they weren't going to pay her very much and she needed to pay her bills. And, you know, she was just in a, in a terrible, anxious lather. And, you know, it's like, first of all, we have to rethink this. There, there's no great catastrophe here. It's going to be okay. One way or another, you're going to figure this out. What's the worst that could happen? How do you problem solve? And of course she went to court and she was dismissed within five minutes. And all that anxiety was just about perceiving threat. And it was just about making something in her mind far worse than what's really there. I've had partners who, who would see a, a cockroach and they would scream and their anxiety level would be through the ceiling. It's like, wait, 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 where's the threat? The cockroach is ugly, but what is he going to do? Break into the house and steal the refrigerator, change the passwords? No, there's no threat here. All he's going to do is run around the walls, run around the floor, and then we'll find him upside down behind the TV six months later. We have to always remind ourselves, is this really a threat? Is this really a, a catastrophe? So there's one of the things I'd like to leave you with on this. There's an antidote for worry and fear, and that is faith. The faith can be in God, in fate, in others, in self. But the belief that it's going to be okay, I can handle this, I'll figure it out, it'll be all right in the end, whatever it is, that's one of the best remedies ever for anxiety.